Oh yeah. <laughs> this guy's fun. He swiped at it and missed it. I just stopped it in front of his nose and... Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we're getting close to the ice fishing season for the 2022-2023 season. And we have just moved to New Brunswick, so we're going to be scouting out some new areas. I just wanted to share with you one of my perch fishing videos from Lake Simcoe back in Ontario from last year. Just to get excited and get ready for the ice fishing season. I can't wait. Alright, tight lines everybody, and hopefully we get some good fishing in. And we'll show you more videos of our fishing adventures here in New Brunswick. But for now, just enjoy this video of Ontario fishing. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm out on another ice fishing adventure today. I decided to come out for perch fishing, really for whatever will bite. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's about minus 20 outside, but there's no wind and it's sunny. So it's looking like it's going to shape up to be a good day. I'm in about 23 feet of water. The ice is perfect. It's about a foot thick and I got good bottom, uh, some rocks, low weeds, some gravel, some zebra mussels down there. It looks like the perfect habitat to catch some, some nice jumps. It'd be really wonderful if we could get a 14-incher, but we'll see. I don't want to test my luck too much. <laughs> um, so far, I just set up. Everything's good to go, and just got my line down. Let's see if what we get. That's a good size one. Not quite what I'm keeping today, but I got it. <laughs> My drag might be a little loose. Oh no, that's a good one. That's what I'm looking for. Do you see guys like this? That's about 10 incher, 10 and a half incher. So I was using a little too big of a bait. All, all I needed to do is downsize and there we have her. So fish on ice. here for the last couple days has been pretty hot. I just want to test my luck and see if it was still continuing. So far you can see the screen's pretty lit up. But let's see if I can get another one here. <laughs> Just a little guy. In the bottom, and it looks perfect. It's rocky, low weeds, a little bit of sand. We got some zebra mussels down there, so it's good for the perch. I'm just hoping some pods of jumbos roll through. So far, they've been a little smaller than I would like, but you know what? That's okay. Oh! <laughs> You see that hit, eh? That was pretty cool. Oh, another good, so good looking perch, eh? So beautiful. I love their colors. They're just vibrant. Oh, I think the little guy got it. Ah, oh, no, not the little one. Oh, a lake herring. <laughs> that was a lake herring. Oh, that's so neat. That's my second one. The first one I caught, my video uh, cut out, so I didn't get that on film, but I don't know if you've seen that one. Kind of shot off at the hole there. The lake herring are in full force today. Oh, my bait came up. No, no, I'm good. It's crazy. No. There was a bigger fish down there, and this little guy came out of nowhere and just grabbed it. Gosh. Ah, oh, the other one would have been a keeper, but this guy here. Always the case. So when you can't sight fish, you don't know that's happening. So you could have a really good perch on your lure, but then a smaller one just come and wham it. So I like sight fishing. You can try. To maneuver it. Try to uh, wiggle it away from the little guy, but it doesn't always work. Like ju what just happened to me here. The big guy swam on him. He just got lazy and swam up with it. <laughs> I 
Okay, that's a nice looking guy. But again, time to go back. I'm gonna keep in the biggins. Okay, so there we go. Tons of good size perch. Like they're not jumbos. They're not super large. They would be. Ow. <laughs> They'd be good eating perch. Come on, let me go. Like I'm just not keeping them right now. Look at that guy. Eh? It's pretty. Look at that guy. Eh? Really nice, beautiful colors. And then you go a bit into fishing, and so far I've caught a lot of good perch. It's been a good day, all in all. The uh, weather's still kind of cold outside. It's warming up a little bit. No wind though, so with the sun heater, as I call it, <laughs> it's really, really comfortable in this hut. I have a breakfast sandwich there just heating up. Just made one last night before I came out. Yeah. Have a really comfortable setup here in the Citadel. Lots of room, especially when you're fishing by yourself. And yeah. have my tripod set up there. Back here. Lots of storage. My coat. So hopefully I get into some more perch. For now I'm just gonna heat up some food and just keep jigging. They've uh they're getting a little bit more aggressive, so I've switched back up to my bigger size bait. But just switching back and forth in between the two. So when the finicky ones come through, you want to have that smaller bait readily available. It takes a while to drop down, so. Oh, he's peeling some drag. See what I mean about sight fishing them? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's good. That's a good looking fish. Yeah, let this guy go. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> Small perch ruining my lunch. Ah, uh, of course. Breakfast sandwich is just bacon, some hash brown, and egg on an English muffin my lunch today. Mm -hmm. A plus. Oh, this one's not that bad. Yeah, it might be a keeper. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good size. I think it's wrapped around the deuce <laughs> Sky. Beauty, eh? It's a nice one. Definitely, definitely close to what we're looking for. Two good ones there. Skinny. See? That's why you need the cloth. Ooh. These guys are out in full force today. This is a lake here in. Sorry, I didn't have my camera on there, but this guy just came in and whacked at it. Just had missed a big jumbo. Oh my god, my heart's broken, but this guy's pretty cool. See that? Lake heron? Their scales come off really easily, but they're beautiful. They look similar to whitefish, very similar, except for their mouth comes out over their top lip instead of under, but it's neat, eh? Little lake herring. All right, send her back. <laughs> you want to go back in, eh? Come on, you're good. There we go. That was fun. Oh, like I said, I just missed out on a big jumbo. I looked down the hole and he had the lure in his mouth and when I went to set the hook I, I don't know what happened it just came out and I was kind of upset but this guy just kind of came in and swacked at it which is really neat 
That was my third lake herring of the day. It's hard to just continuously film, so I couldn't get the other ones on film. And the first one, I thought my camera was on, but it wasn't. Oh, now it's going to be hard to see down the hole for the next little while. But it's cool. That was probably about a 13-inch, 14-inch lake herring there. Yes. Oh, this is a good one. Just watched him come up. A little fighter. Oh, yeah, that's a really good guy. Look at that one. They're starting to pick up a little bit, or at least I found the color they wanted today. But that's the perch I just landed. So beautiful, eh? Look at their beautiful colors. It's like a tropical fish. They're orange fins. They're beautiful stripes with bars. And they're just such good eating, too. You can freeze them for up to a year, I find. Sometimes a little more. And they still taste just as good. In my opinion, one of the best eating fish is a perch. That's for sure. I love catching them, too. They're so much fun. Oh, that's a good one. Oh yeah, it's a real good one. Look at that guy. So I had to finesse this one a little bit. You can see here, this guy's really good. I had to finesse him just a bit. Um, so he was kind of lethargic and swimming around it, but I could tell he gave some interest because he did come close enough to my bait. All I did was, once I was jigging it up, probably about uh, a few inches off bottom, when I seen he wasn't really that interested in swimming away, I dropped it right away to the bottom and he came in and smoked it. So sometimes it's just giving it a little extra thought and thinking what would a perch want to be going after and mostly they're going after the wounded bottom minnows. Minnow. Something just triggers in these fish and they want to attack. It doesn't always work, but sometimes it does. So when all those fails and you see that fish is leaving, try everything you have and this time it worked. Took a lot of finessing, but I ended up getting him. What a day. I tell you, the last half hour, it's really picked up. I landed three of my big guys just within that last half hour. But let's see what the rest of the day has to bring. Yeah, same thing. Drop it to the bottom. I got the biggest one from this pod. It's probably not going to be a keeper, but oh no, that's a good one. Look at that, eh? Beautiful. He dropped it to the ground, and again, he smoked it. on the warm-up trend. It's normally when you're going to get a lot of your fish. Wasn't sure how it would be today with the cold snap, but it's really starting to warm up. And the fish are seeming to warm up as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> this guy's fun. He swiped at it and missed it. I just stopped it in front of his nose and he grabbed it. Oh. Gonna have enough for a good little meal tonight. So, I've mentioned the cloth before. Um, you just want one of your dish towels or something like that. Something that you don't mind getting dirty or some fish slime on it. And it really helps for when you're catching the perch just in general all day because you're constantly taking them off your line, throwing them back in the water, rinsing your hands off. You want to make sure that you have some kind of cloth to dry your hands off so you're not rubbing them all over your bibs and then getting your bibs all soaked. And then another thing, this tip is just for the ladies or you know any men that want to have some nice smooth skin as well. Uh, I like to bring out a tube of lotion. Um, I find it's very beneficial because during the winter months, especially when you ice fish a lot, your hands are going to get dry. And to keep them moisturized, 
is pretty important to me and uh, I know maybe a lot of my fellow ladies out there they'll like that as well just so their hands aren't chipping up mostly around my thumb area I get it and on my index fingers just because I'm constantly you know hooking and taking the line off baiting up so my hands get pretty dry and then you're always washing them just because you know you're handling fish and and minnows uh, so that's a tip get yourself some lotion it doesn't matter what kind of lotion your favorite lotion whichever just get a small tube of it and then bring it out just keep it in your pack in your tackle box anything like that that's why you just want to make it small and portable and it'll really help with your dry skin all right ladies fish on just a small guy sometimes you just got to catch him and get him out of there because when a bigger perch comes in your little aggressive guy will still be down there and he'll beat the big guy to the bait almost every time depends on how aggressive the bigger fish is but more or less the small guys are more aggressive so just get him out of there if you can little ones always stick around another little guy but it's still cool to get on camera A good, decent one, but he's going home today. Bye, buddy. Thanks for leaving my bait. Oh, that sounds like a good one. I love when you drop it down and then you get. Oh, yeah, nice. See? Just goes to show a little maintenance to your line. Glow your lure every so often if you have a UV. And then look at that guy. That's a beast. <laughs> so big, eh? Just from taking a few seconds to glow my jig, put on some fresh bait, and look at that. I tell you, every time. They're little keys to success little details to pay attention to when you're out fishing to make your day just a little bit better. But that guy just came in and hammered it. I barely even had my line down. Oh yeah. Yeah, there we go. Here's another one. This guy just came in. There was three fish the same size just kind of eyeballing my bait. But this guy actually took it. So, haha. <laughs> Success. This is awesome. All right. Beautiful. It's a good day. I'll tell you, the really, really big guys are finicky today. Oh, it's got some weight to you. <laughs> She's got some weight to her. I'll tell you, when this guy grows up, it's going to be a jumbo. She's got some weight and some pull, but this guy was swimming by with a big jumbo down there, and the jumbo just had no interest, so very lethargic. Got a good mess of fish over there, enough for a few meals. Had a bunch of fun with some fish in between, lake herring. Seen a whole school of lake herring come through. It's really interesting. It's always good just to get out see what you get because you never know you're not going to get anything sitting on the couch so but yeah that's that's really good you can't complain when you're catching perch like this you know even though you get a few small ones mixed in it's still a great day on the hard water i got a meal i got to get some fishing in some fun some exercise a little bit of fresh air yep what more could a girl ask for eh <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I'll probably fish for maybe another hour and then pack up. i still got some fish to clean here and some chores to do at home. Can't forget the homestead chores. They never end. <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Got into some good perch. No real jumbos today, but I think the cold snap that hit kind of killed off the jumbo bite. But you know what? We still got into some good decent perch. It's about 10 and a half incher, uh, close to 11, and I'm happy with that. 
time to get home. I got some chores I got to get done, but it's still nice to get outside, get on some perch, and enjoy the outdoors on this beautiful day. All right, tight lines, everyone. Stay tuned for the next video. What a beautiful day. The bite picked up a little bit more in the afternoon, but I got to head out. Again, I got things to do, but some more people decide to show up onto the lake. And look at my little so That's what I got for today. Not bad at all, eh? Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. With the ice season fast approaching, I know it's easy to get tempted and head out on first ice, but please be careful when you do. Check your local conditions, make sure you have your spud bar, make sure you have a float suit and your spikes, and always bring a buddy. Be safe this season, tight lines everyone, good luck, and I'll see you on the next video.